Welcome to a new Team CGC 920 video. Today I'm bringing it back to one of my favorite eras in the 1990s and want to talk about this time about under the radar books though as opposed to um, our last 1990s video. Uh, I believe we did it on investment grade books uh, which were more obvious kind of major keys of the 1990s which I would recommend um, certainly as well. But this time Wanted to focus on more under the radar, under followed kind of key issues though. Still key issues, you know. Um, these are still, I think, investment grade books. Uh, you know, I always recommend for modern books, for 90s books, to buy CGC 9.8 books if you can. Um, you know, comics are well printed, collecting was a thing. So I, you know, I recommend CGC 9.8 books specifically for 90s books. Uh, so some of these books are quite affordable. Uh, all of them, I feel, are under the radar in their own way. Um, I only have two of the books in the CGC 9.8 and one raw copy. Um, really quickly before we get into our list here of seven, I'd invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. Love to have you on our comic book collecting team. And uh, hit the bell to get all their latest notifications. Add me on Instagram too if, you, if you'd like. Uh, got a, uh, Having some great conversations on Instagram. And all the links are in the description below for all that stuff. Now, um, list of seven here, so the first one is a, a book I don't have, um, it's a G.I. Joe special number one, and uh, this book specifically is a Spider-Man number one cover homage, so I thought I'd bring up my Spider-Man number one that I got as a gift for Christmas from uh, some, you know, one of our team members, Tony, the McFarlane collector, and um, this G.I. Joe special, though, is a Spider-Man number one homage. Kind of interesting, um, this book has Todd McFarlane art on the inside, um, but even though it's a Spider-Man number one homage, it's not Todd McFarlane that did the cover art. Um, but still, this is a really cool book. Um, you know, it's one that I, you know, would probably have if um, it had popped up from kind of one of my favorite sellers that I, you know, kind of regularly follow. But as we'll see, uh, looking on the CGC census, only 88 CGC 9.8s in the blue label in the world, 88 of them. So you can see why it probably hasn't popped up from some of my favorite sellers. Uh, the CGC 9.8 ratio is 23%, which for 90s books, getting in that investment grade territory, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a nice uh, CGC 9.8 ratio. You know, of all graded copies, 23% of them are 9.8s. Uh, prices for this book. There is only one on eBay right now that I'm seeing, and it's $540 US in a buy it now. So I would assume that's quite, you know, inflated. I, I believe I've seen these close to four in the past, but I would say like around 450 either a little below or a little above that is kind of a fair value for this book. That would be like a good price for this book. It's, uh, yeah, again, only 88 out there, and there is a cult following for this book. Um, I, when I really followed, tried to kind of bear down and, and maybe grab this book was about a year ago, I would say, and uh, they didn't last long. Like some that came up that I was like, oh, maybe I'll get it. You know, they sell um, if they're competitively priced. 540, the one on eBay, I think that's a little bit uh, probably too high. But uh, anything under 500, if it's looking really good in a new case, CGC 9.8, I think is a decent price. So, G.I. Joe Special 1, Spider-Man number 1 cover homage, really cool. I think it's Storm Shadow on the cover with the, with, in, in the cr kind of crouch Spider-Man position. Todd McFarlane art on the inside. Very collectible. Only 88 9.8s out there, and, you know, the price kind of says that. Still kind of flies under the radar, though. So that's our first pick. Second pick here, I uh, do have a raw copy of, of the second pick here. It's uh, X-Men number 53, which is the first full appearance of Onslaught. And, um, you know, the good thing about this book, I think, is, you know, when you think about X-Men in the 90s, there's so many really cool, like, uncanny X-Men issues. So a lot of people tend to overlook just the X-Men series and, um, you know, focus on uncanny X-Men for good reason. And even in the X-Men series, usually it's like the first 10 or 15 issues because it's really cool Jim Lee art. And, you know, there were so many, so many of those X-Men comics printed, uh, though, when they first came out. Um, so this is definitely an under the radar issue. First full appearance of Onslaught X Men Fifty Three. I'd you know I'd recommend it in the CGC Nine Point Eight Two. Uh, so on the census, there's eighty nine of them in the CGC Nine Point Eight Blue Label. Sixty percent the CGC Nine Point Eight ratio. So 
kind of most of the graded copies are 9.8, um, which is kind of, you know, normal for like a underfollow book. Usually it's just people that really love Onslaught that are the cult following Onslaught fans sending in graded books. So most of them are 9.6s and 9.8. Um, so, yeah, one, again, that I think I, people just totally tend to focus on Uncanny X-Men, and I did, I, I did that for many, many years, and this one kind of came out of nowhere, and, um, I, you know, it's, it's a cover I do remember, too. I remember my friends having this one when I was younger. I didn't specifically have it, but, uh, yeah, when I was reintroduced to it, I thought it was a really cool book. Um, so, uh. Looking on eBay and doing a completed listing search for prices in the CGC 9.8 for this one, uh, the last one sold for 188. So yeah, again with less than 100, uh, this the price for this book's kind of getting up there. Um, that's more than quite a lot of kind of key issues from, you know, the the early X Men title, and that's because the early X they were just so printed. There's so many of those printed. By this time, I think this is 96. Uh, Comic book market started slowing down a bit. Uh, printing started slowing down, so the, you know these books are a little bit less printed and a little bit more rare. So last one was 188. I think uh, that's a you know probably a fair price, maybe a, a bit you know towards the top end of a fair price. Um, you know what? I've been somewhat hunting for this issue, and I ended up picking up a CBCS 9.8 of this book um, just literally yesterday, and. Um, it was $140, $139.99, and, you know, just kind of a competitively priced uh, buy it now from uh, one of my kind of more favorite sellers that has cheap shipping in Canada, and I thought that was a decent price because what I actually did was I tried to buy the cheapest CGC 9.8 on eBay right now, and that seller wouldn't go below $170, uh, so I thought, hey, CBC has book looking just as good in the 9.8 white pages for $140 or 170 for the CGC 9.8, I just thought, you know, the 140 is fine, and, you know, it's this book right here, first full appearance of Onslaught, uh, yeah, a good underfollowed issue right now that, you know, the 9.8 is kind of expensive, but um, certainly if, a, you know, raw copies in most, people bud in, in most people's budget, I found this at my local comic shop for four bucks, and uh, I think that's, that's the thing, this is a big candidate of a book for, because people focus on Uncanny X-Men, you can go to local comic shops and just look at the X-Men books and often find this for like really cheap because, um, yeah, the X-Men books are just like, people just think they're, they, they just don't think there's very many keys in there and they're all in Uncanny X-Men. Yeah, people just tend to focus on X. So yeah, a bit of an opportunity I think here. And uh, another thing is uh, uh, X-Men number 50. This is 53. X-Men number 50 is the first cameo of Onslaught with a pretty cool cover, too. So, like, if you really wanted to just delve into the Onslaught. Um, and the last one is Uncanny X-Men 322, where it's the first mention of Onslaught. So that's kind of the first mention of Onslaught, and that was, I think, six months before this book. Uh, they, like, first mentioned Onslaught. Um, so, yeah, if you really wanted to delve into Onslaught, you could go that route. Uh, okay, next book. So that's the second book. Third book here is Marvel Comics Presents number 72. It's uh, the origin of Wolverine and, like, the beginning of the Weapon X saga. And I think this is, a, you know, still a pretty popular key, but still somewhat under the radar. And, you know, one that I think you could definitely get if you're a big Wolverine fan. And, uh, you know, certainly if kind of maybe... <laughs> First appearance of Wolverine is out of your budget, um, but, you know, you still like CGC 9.8 books. Because, yeah, this book, uh, just we'll look quickly on the census for uh, uh, Marvel Comics Presents, number 72. Uh, 380 CGC 9.8s out there in the blue label. 48% is the CGC 9.8 ratio, so about half of them are 9.8s. Um, so, price. I saw this book in an auction go for basically like $95. Um, anywhere around there, uh, depending on how good the pictures look kind of thing, but in a new case, if the pictures are looking pretty good, about a hundred bucks, I would say, for this issue. Uh, maybe a little bit under, maybe a little bit over, depending on how lucky you are. And yeah, I just think it's the beginning of Weapon X, Origin of Wolverine, a classic, iconic character Wolverine, kind of a key issue that you could still get. That's about a hundred bucks. I think, yeah, this is one of the more under-the-radar 90s books that, uh, you know, it's not too, too obvious for most people. So, um, 
yeah, and I've been outbid on this book in the past before where I was trying to get a little bit too picky on price, and I almost wish I didn't do that. But, uh, yeah, I'm on the lookout for this one. This is kind of on my want list, I would say. Marvel Comics presents 72, Origin of Wolverine. Okay, next book is a really cool one and uh, pretty obscure, I think, being there's the least amount of CGC 9.8s of, of this one. It's a Silver Server 87, the first full appearance of Tyrant. So the issue before this has the cameo of Tyrant, and the cover's not as cool, uh, but this cover's really cool with Tyrant on the cover and uh, kind of the uh, you know classic pinup of Tyrant cover, first full appearance. Uh, so this book, Silver Surfer 87, there is only 16 9.8s, CGC 9.8s on the census in the blue label. Only 16 of them. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, not an obvious villain, obviously, and talking about under-the-radar books, so it kind of fits that theme. Uh, the CGC 9.8 ratio is 61%, so most of the copies that are being sent in are the 9.8s. And that makes sense with, again, kind of such a small amount of books being graded. Uh, yeah, this is one, it, it would be totally hard to find, right? Like 16 CGC 9.8s out there. So there's two on eBay right now. One of them, it, the cheapest one is $199. So 200 bucks for this book, um, if you want it like right now, and there's no offer on that one, it's just like a buy it now. But with only 16 of them out there, this could be a good like speculation kind of book. Like, yeah, 200 is expensive, but, um... If you pick this up and, you know, you really like the cover and I'm kind of a fan of the sil that Silver Surfer series and I, I do really like this cover, I think um, it could be worth that 200 possibly. And then, um, you know, hopefully Tyron possibly comes out in a movie or is used more prominently in some promotion, which is, you know, always possible. And I always like to kind of position before the movie comes out so you can load up on kind of first appearances of more obscure things. Um, rather than, you know, things where the movie's already come out, uh, villains where the movie's already out. So, yeah, number four is Silver Surfer 87, first full appearance of Tyrant, really cool looking cover. So one to look out for if, uh, you know, kind of villains, un more underfollowed villains are your thing, under the radar villains. Uh, next book is, there's, uh, you know, a bit more of an obvious pick, but still seems to fly under the radar, and I there's, I think, one on eBay right now. Um, yeah, I don't think I marked down that price, but I've seen these sell in the past, but it's a Batman Sword of Azrael, uh, number one, and this is the first appearance of Azrael, so, you know, a cool first appearance in there, a sort of an underfollowed first appearance, under the radar first appearance, and no movie yet with Azrael, obviously, so there's always that kind of wild card, but I remember this character from the 90s, and, you know, I thought he was pretty cool back then, and me being a big Batman fan, I think this is kind of one on sort of my want list too, where if it, you know, not one I really, really search a lot, but if it kind of popped up from a favorite seller, I'd maybe consider, you know, throwing in a competitive bid. So there's uh, 335 of these in the CGC 9.8 blue label on the census. 56% CGC 9.8 ratio, so 56% of them are 9.8s out of all graded copies. Uh, in the past, I've seen this on auctions go for about 80 bucks. Uh, whereas, you know, buy it nows will get over a hundred, kind of at a hundred and over for the buy it nows. Um, so yeah, I think if, again, if I found an auction and I was able to grab this for less than a hundred, I think that's kind of a cool Batman first appearance from the nineties for less than a hundred bucks. You know, I thought of maybe putting like Batman Vengeance of Bane, first appearance of Bane on this one too. Uh, that's about 225 ish on the CGC 9.8 for a good looking one in a new case. So. Um, this is a little bit more under the radar and more affordable than, um, First Bane. Yeah, Batman Sword of Azrael, pretty cool one. Okay, next book is, uh, one I've talked about quite a bit, but worth mentioning on a kind of under the radar 90s books, I think, again, is, uh, Wolverine number 88, CGC 9.8. This one here, this is the Deluxe Edition. That's, a, yeah, this one's a new, more newly graded, because it actually says Deluxe Edition on the label, which, uh, the first, or when they... The first, um, I, I don't think they started doing that until like maybe the last year or two. Um, and yeah, the only reason they do do that is because there's different lettering on the cover. So whenever there's like different lettering on the cover, uh, they try to distinguish the difference on the CGC census as well. If it looks a little bit different. But Wolverine 88, why would I recommend this? And under the radar, well, 
uh, there's only 69 CGC 9.8 on the census in the blue label, so it's kind of under 100, so that kind of gives it some under-the-radar credentials, well, less than 100 on the CGC uh, census in the 9.8. But uh, if this is the first uh, battle between Wolverine and Deadpool, so um, obviously you got a great cover, and uh, that's another reason to want this book. And I just think as this gains more popularity, um, it'll be a great book to have. I, you know, I grabbed one of mine was for a hundred dollars. The other one I got a screaming deal on. It was like fifty six bucks or fifty seven or something like that. And um, many of these have kind of sold for like one twenty five ish lately. Like I feel like this is st already starting to creep up a little bit. Certainly from. Um, when it was a bit more underfollowed in the last couple of years. Yeah, and I luckily I got two of these in the CGC 9.8, so, um, and honestly, yeah, it would be one that I would even consider grabbing another one if an option came up or that uh, caught my eye that I could, you know, get cheap shipping to my place and stuff. So, yeah, I just think it's one you want to buy now because it's sort of a Hulk 340 in the making, and, you know, Hulk 340 is going for kind of 350 to 400. So if this... You know, I think this issue's got a chance to kind of make a move up to 200 bucks. Um, and yeah, that wild card, and I've talked about it on a couple videos here in the past about movies and stuff. Um, the wild card that Deadpool and X Men are coming back under the MCU Disney production uh, kind of umbrella. So there's always a, a possibility that they could have Deadpool and X Men in the same movie, and maybe a Deadpool and Wolverine battle which I think would be great cinema, and uh, this book will not be, <laughs> like if that happened on TV, that book would not be $100. So if you can grab it for around 100 now, or 125 I'm seeing them quite often go for, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think it's still kind of worth it, and, you know, great pride of ownership, so, you know, making the movie is kind of a cherry on the top bonus if they do that. But one, I would still recommend... All right, and uh, last one here. So this is number seven. Yeah, it went through seven here. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number four thirty-one. First appearance of Cosmic Carnage. This is a you know nineteen ninety-eight book. So kind of by this time it was like you know the comic book recession was kind of an in in full swing. Like comic books weren't selling as much as they were in the early nineties. That's for sure. So. Uh, yeah, on the census, there's 171 of these in the CGC 9.8. You know, for an Amazing Spider-Man book, uh, that's not that's not really a lot. Um, you know, for kind of an obvious key issue in an Amazing Spider-Man, usually there's lots and lots and lots. But because again, lower printed, you know, late 90s, um, you know, definitely started cutting back on printing. They weren't selling as many comics as uh, they were certainly in the early 90s at this point. Uh, just quick, the CGC 9.8 ratio is 46%. So 46% of them are CGC 9.8 uh, of all graded copies. And I was, you know, with this book, I'm kind of on the record, you know, I totally recommend Amazing Spider-Man 361. Uh, that is, to me, is like the iconic 90s cover, classic, bag, you know, Mark Bagley, first full appearance of Carnage. I That's kind of would be my number one Carnage book. This would be my number two. Um, yeah, I just really like... Uh, for me, it's super nostalgic, this book, but uh, I really like the cover. I really like the concept of just Carnage kind of taking over a Silver Server, especially with, like, you know, Absolute Carnage coming out and Carnageized everything, and this is almost like one of the original Carnageized, where, uh, you know, Silver Server took, or uh, Carnage takes over Silver Server. This, it's like first appearance of Cosmic Carnage is sort of as this is known as, but um, it doesn't say it here, it just says Carnage and Silver Surfer appearance. Um, but still kind of the first parent, first appearance in a way. And obviously there's never been a movie uh, made of, um, you know, Carnage taking over Silver Surfer, so, you know, I could see that in 10 or 20 years happening as, uh, you know, special effects get better and even better and better, uh, Silver Surfer will probably be an option, I would, I would think. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, a little bit of potential, I think, with this book, but it does have a cult following. Like, you know, I have one, I probably want to get another one, to be honest. This really is one that sticks out for me, and, you know, I was still collecting books in the late 90s, um, so, yeah, this is one that sticks out to me, and I have a raw copy that I, I had purchased in the 90s, and um, it was, yeah, maybe like a very fine, I would say, so it wasn't like in great condition. So I remember when I got into CGC 9.8 books, this was a book where I was like, oh man, it would be great to have a CGC 
of uh, 431, that great Cosmic Carnage cover. So it certainly has a cult following, still under the radar. Um, only 171 9.8s out there, so um, yeah, price-wise with this book, pretty sure I paid like 150 for this. Um, and I'm, I think if you're extremely patient and you get a bit lucky, you can get it pretty close to 100. So we'll call the price like 110 to 150 for a fair price. Um, certainly, I have saw this book go for like 200 before, like 199.99 uh, in, in a buy it now. I've seen this go for too. So, um, but yeah, fair price around that 150, hopefully lower. All right, that's all seven here. Um, yeah, we'll go really quickly through the list. So um, it was G.I. Joe special number one, Spider-Man number one, cover homage, uh, McFarlane art on the inside of that book, and uh, there's only 88, 9.8s of that one. So yeah, pretty expensive book, but awesome. an awesome collector book. Uh, second book was X-Men 53, first full appearance of Onslaught. One that definitely slips under the radar, I think, and there's only 88 CGC 9.8s. And I just bought a CBCS 9.8 of a great looking one, so... Uh, that'll be an unbox video soon. Uh, number three, Marvel Comics presents number 72, Origin of Wolverine. Yeah, you get the Origin of Wolverine in, in the best grade for 100 bucks. I think that's undervalued and, and under the radar. Silver Surfer 87, first full appearance of Tyrant. Really cool Tyrant cover, only 16 9.8s. Um, there's one on eBay for $199.99. Could be worth speculating on. Definitely under the radar. Next one, Batman Sword of Azrael, first appearance of Azrael. Kind of under the radar, uh, you know, Batman, first appearance of the 90s, I think. Uh, Wolverine 88, first time Deadpool and Wolverine fight. A amazing classic cover that I think has so much potential. Only 69, 9.8s of those in the blue label. And last one, Amazing Spider-Man 431, first appearance of Cosmic Carnage. 171 CGC 9.8s on that. And yeah, I get kind of the first appearance of Car Cosmic Carnage, kind of the original Carnageized, um, you know, uh, storyline, sort of, without it actually saying that, I guess. But classic uh, late 90s book for me, and uh, I think a, a really collectible book, for sure. Yeah, and I'll, I think, you know, uh, certainly check out, as I'm uh, recommended, to, uh, you know, look at our investment grade 1990 CGC 9.8. Um, video that we already did, and yeah, these two together are, you know, that's a pretty solid list of, uh, I guess, 14 books it would be. I think there's honorable mentions in our first video, too. So yeah, you'll get about 14 to maybe even 20, about 20 uh, 1990s books out of those two videos, and um, yeah, I love 1990s books, and uh, I think certainly in the late 90s, too, their 90s are kind of known as being super printed and too well printed, but the late 90s, there's some gems in there, I think, and uh yeah, hopefully uh, on this video, kind of something catches your eye with uh, some of these under-the-radar books, because I do think they are pretty cool. Okay, uh, yeah, really quick, I'll invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. And, uh, you know, early stages of the channel, so just, uh, you know, get all the subs we can... I'd love to get all the subs we can get at this early stage, for sure. Uh, so, uh, would really appreciate that, but thank you very much for watching today. Yeah, I'm glad I could kind of... Uh, go over. Yeah, I know I've been kind of at these investment grade books wanting to do sort of the obvious ones, um, uh, you know, wanting to get those kind of videos out of the way, but uh, I think coming up more, I want to do more like under the radar, affordable CGC 9.8s and maybe books that I haven't talked about as much on the channel in the past. So hopefully, uh, yeah, keep, give it some more variety. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching today. Really appreciate all the support and all the, the comments and uh, the messages I'm getting from everyone. So Thanks so much, team. I'll see you on the next video.